Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Top Chef Fabio Viviani. That's right, I got to do a private cooking class in Aspen last year at the Food Wine Classic. It was sponsored by Bertoli, and Chef Fabio was showing us the different techniques for cooking with their three different grades of olive oil. He made us this incredible breakfast. I know it doesn't look like breakfast, but it was a delicious seared steak with avocado, feta, roasted tomatoes. So good. And better than the food, listening to Chef Fabio talk. I could listen to this guy all day. Very entertaining, very engaging teacher. In fact, here he is pontificating on molecular gastronomy. You know, when you eat something that uh, tastes like bacon, but it's powder, or is a shot is a shot of BLT, or you know, it's flavor. They're amazing. It's a revelation. The technique, but sometimes it's really hard to feed yourself with it. It's more like uh, when you go to a roller coaster park. You know, you do it once, you can't do it every day. Right, right. Because that's, you don't need that every day. So what you need every day is something that makes you happy, fulfill you as far as eating habits, and uh, is easy enough that it can be replied and cost effective. Because a lot of people, they cannot afford uh, to spend tons of money for grocery. Now, one suggestion that I always have is that buy the best that you can afford. Don't overdo. Don't buy something that will just make you broke, but if you can invest something, think about it. Life is too short to drink bad wine and eat bad food. So what we're trying to do here is that, you know, in the United States, especially for far concerning all oil, there is uh, lots of misconception, meaning that till a few days back, everything we hear from the food networks, from the people on the blog, uh, book, uh, everything is that everything has to be done with olive oil, because extra virgin olive oil is the best, extra virgin olive oil is the most uh, nutritious, extra virgin olive oil, I agree. Now, extra virgin olive oil is the most uh, uh, refined out of the oil, olive oil category, you know, very little acidic, very little, uh, very strong olive flavor, but it has to be used in certain situations and only in those. All right, and then it was on to the cooking. Chef Fabio was explaining his choices for using the three different olive oils. For the pan of roasted cherry tomatoes that he's doing right on the stovetop, he's using the classic olive oil. All right, that's the medium body. For the searing of the steaks, because that is a high heat technique, he's using the light olive oil, which has the highest smoke point. He also threw in some green onions there and wilted those in the hot pan. So good. All right, so after everything was cooked, Fabio explained that now he would break out the extra virgin to dress his avocado and feta salad, which would be used to garnish the plates. Use it at the end because it's when you look for the smell and the taste of olive. Extra virgin is the most intense flavor, robust flavor of olive through the category of olive oil that we have and it has to be used at the end or you're gonna lose the reason why you're using it which is the flavor and the intensity now smell it smell you smell the olive oil mm. and then you put it all together now i hear chef fabio is teaching classes down in his restaurant in southern california so i'll provide a link to that if those classes are even half as entertaining as our morning here uh, i highly recommend checking it out and then, to make it even more fabulous, he finished with a nice aged balsamic vinegar. It was really, really good. And then as we enjoyed those beautiful plates of food, Chef Fabio went into a little bit about what he's looking forward to in sort of the next phase of his career. What I'm trying to do now is to build a business with the restaurant industry. Before it was all about getting good reviews on food. Now is about letting people understand what food and Italian culture is about. You know, I don't like, I don't care anymore about the two-star uh, Michelin or the fancy review because it's not what we're doing anymore. You know, now we try to please as many people as possible, making them understand what's worth it, what's not. You know, I don't see myself 16 hours a day in a kitchen in a single restaurant. I'm more seeing myself expanding myself with the passion that we have for the things that we do. All right, and that was it. If you're a Top Chef fan and a Fabio fan like I am, I hope you found that entertaining. And hopefully one day I'll actually put that recipe together in a Food Wish video and you can get all the amounts and make that at home. All right, anyway, go to the site for more info. And as always, enjoy.